I'm Dia. I'm a singer from Toronto, Canada. I love languages, culture, and travel. My whole life, I've waited for the perfect time to finally visit my motherland, Italy. With a global pandemic and a rare open summer schedule, I decided it was the perfect time to go. So, I booked a one-way ticket with no itinerary and nothing really planned, except for the fact that I was finally going to Italy. After missing my first train, learning a very valuable lesson, and feeling like a total goofball, I was finally on my way back to Roma. After settling into my hotel, I head out for a delicious sandwich to start my day. Please tell me what's better than freshly baked pizza loaded with freshly sliced mortadella. Freshly sliced mortadella in white pizza, brushed with olive oil. Mm. After my lunch, I began my hunt to find a dress for the Andrea Bocelli Foundation Gala. This dress shop was playing Rage Against the Machine, and I wasn't mad about it. But what was frustrating was that in 40 degree heat, with a mask, I was trying on dress after dress to no avail. I was not finding something that I loved, and I was running out of time. And as if I needed any other distractions, Tomorrow, Italy is playing England for the finals of the Euro Cup. The city is buzzing, Rome is excited, and so am I. Being my first time in Italy and second time in Rome, this does not get old. Nothing here does, despite how old it actually is. But the views are magnificent. You guys are wondering if all I'm doing this whole trip is eating. That's exactly true. <laughs> I thought things couldn't get any more coincidental, but they did. Back in Benevento, I was reminded through social media that I opened up for Cugini di Campania eight years ago in Toronto. I shared the memory, they reshared it, and through Instagram, we connected in Rome, in person, for dinner drinks, and a symphony. To Palestrina I go. It was so great to see Tiziano, Silvano, and his lovely wife Nancy. Music everywhere, and I would have it no other way. If you're ever in Rome and would like to check out some other cities on the outskirts, Palestrina is a beautiful place to visit. It's about 35 kilometers east of Rome and is built on the ancient city of Praeneste. It's also the birthplace of the famous composer Giovanni Pierluigi da Palestrina. His legacy has created a foundation that hosted this beautiful event at Foro Civile di Praeneste, a performance by the spectacular Nova Amadeus Orchestra. Incredibile. <laughs> Never a dull moment with I Cugini. Tonight's performance featured soprano Emanuela Di Gregorio and baritone Masashi Tomosugi. was conducted by the amazing Direttore Mirka Roshan. What a splendid evening! Grazie mille Tiziano, Silvano and your beautiful wife Nancy. The night was young. After the performance, we got a private guided tour of the Foro. Something that I found really interesting is that the bombings of World War II destroyed so many houses in the center of Palestrina that these Roman ruins were actually revealed beneath them. And all this history is making me hungry. A few days ago, back when I was in Benevento, I got a notification on Instagram saying eight years ago today, 
you posted this and it was me with the Cugini di Campagna at the Ontario place. I got another notification like the next day saying craving cacio e pepe. Earlier, I asked Tiziano, I go, wherever we're gonna go eat, can I have cacio e pepe? He goes, let me ask around, I'll figure it out. But all the plans changed and we ended up watching this classical performance in an ancient theater. The restaurant owner says, I'll make you guys some cacio e pepe. You know, y'all have the best cacio e pepe in Rome and he's won awards for this cacio e pepe. Like, these coincidences, this is every day something like this is falling into my lap. Like, it's amazing. I can't believe it. This is crazy, guys. I'm just about to eat the best cacio e pepe ever. And I did. And it was. There is nothing better than the most perfect and fresh plate of pasta at 2.30 in the morning. Okay. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so first I just have to say, I ate the best cacio e pepe I've ever had in my entire life by Cuoca Virginia. And adesso she's taking me down to the cantina. And oh my god, it's so cool. <gasps> oh my god. Look at this. This is so cool. This is amazing. I'm gonna tell everybody back home about your delicious food. <laughs> they need to come here. That's beautiful. I told, I'm gonna live here. I'm gonna live in your cantina. <laughs> What an incredibly fun and unexpected night out. I had a blast. It was such an honor to spend this evening with you guys, my friends from Icugini di Campagna. See you guys soon in Toronto. So I just got back from this really fun night and it's really late, it's like 4 a.m. And I was like, hmm, perfect. I'm just gonna take the elevator up and go to my room so I can go to sleep. Except, why isn't it working? Some knucklehead didn't close this door and it says to close the door so that the elevator works. Imagine that. So now I have to climb four floors of stairs at four o'clock in the morning and I'm exhausted. Oh my God. I don't even know what floor this is. There's no signs. Stair after stair after stair. Good night. On the next episode of Going to Italy, we honor the legacy of the late icon Raffaella Carrà and watch the finals of the Euro Cup where Italy beats England. And I'm celebrating in the capital. You won't want to miss it.